what's going on so i've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now actually we're heading to mcdonald's now seems like a lot of people like mcdonald's but i'm not a big fan of it to be honest but one thing that i've always wondered is they have like a i don't know what they call it signature menu where it's basically like a higher Sorry about this, but someone texted me as I was filming this. So as I was saying, they have a signature menu. I'm going to compare it to the original menu and see the difference. And compare it to the normal menu. Because when I go to McDonald's, I normally just go there. I don't go there very often. When I do go there, I just get like, it's cheap and cheerful, isn't it? I just get like cheap stuff and just the normal side of the menu. Even though it's small, but it tastes okay. So anyway, let's head over there now. Got the food acquired. Just about to head back now because the football's actually playing at the moment. Man City are playing. So I'd rather watch that while I'm doing this video as well. Let me know in the comments. Are you a person that eats inside or would rather take it home and eat? I feel like you've got to be in a certain mood to, to eat inside. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I prefer just being in my own house. That's why I order the food, you know? But that, that meal come to a total of around 75 dirham then, which is around about 12 pound 50, I think. Yeah, yeah, May, or maybe it's 15 pound actually, back if you're looking at pounds. But yeah, it's not bad, for considering what I got, it's a fair bit. That's the good thing about McDonald's, it's relatively cheap, but um, quality is not really the best. Best thing about getting a second tablet is I get to do this film and watch football at the same time. I'm mad that Everton's gonna get relegated as well, which is crazy. Burnley's just scored two late goals to win. And they're playing, um, I think, Arsenal tomorrow or something. All right, just gonna take this food out now and then we'll have a look at it all when it's on the table. Okay, so we've got the signature burger here. We've got the quarter pound with cheese here. Cheesecake and a choc triple chocolate muffin, uh, six chicken nuggets, chips, sweet and sour sauce, and a Fanta. All right, I'm just gonna set this camera up with the tripod here. And... All right, let's get into it. I'm actually, um, I'm actually on fret at the moment. Can you believe it? But I've actually not eaten that much food today, so and I trained hard in the gym as well earlier, so uh, yeah, that's why I decided just and I wanted to eat this food. So that's why we're doing this. Question is, which one do I go for first? I'll tell you what, because I always have the original menu first. I think we'll go for the signature, and let's have a look what that's saying. So the box is definitely better. Comes in a fancy little box. Not that you eat the box, but and the burger looks first impressions looks very good actually. So it's got some like onions and brown sauce on there, I think. Some cheese. Definitely looks a lot more quality just from looking on it. Let's see what it tastes like. It's got some bacon as well, I think. There, yeah, some bacon. Mmm, crispy onions. Very, very nice. The thing is about this menu as well, when, whenever I order burgers from McDonald's, I always have to change what's inside. This is the only time I didn't have to change anything. So I actually like brown sauce and all the rest of the stuff that I was inside. I normally, if you get a quarter pounder, I don't like mustard, so I take that out. I don't like gherkins, take that out. Don't like mayonnaise, if I get a chicken burger, I take that out. 
But with this, I didn't have to change anything. The barbecue sauce has like a little bit of a. Oh, this. Man City just got. Two things I like football, food, football first time. 1 0 Man City. Okay, back to the food. The sauce, as I was saying, the, the barbecue sauce has like a fiery taste to it. It's a little bit spicy, but not too much spice. Very good. Like, don't want to give my full review yet. Because I want to eat the other burger, even though I've had that before. Just to taste and compare. Chips. Obviously, chips. Not a big fan of McDonald's fries, to be honest. They're very small and not much taste, taste to them. And they're really oily as well. But... They're not bad. I'm more of a like burger person or chicken I guess, but yeah, not bad. All right, let's take a look at the. I hope you can see everything good on the camera, by the way. Okay, so we got onions on there. Doesn't look very good, even the bun is breaking up. Onions, cheese, cheese on the bottom as well, and a quarter pounder. It's actually very small compared to the other one. It's like it's quite small. Let's get into this. Obviously, it's got two different tastes because it's different type of burgers, different things inside. But I'm trying to think: is the burger quality different? in the other one it does look different see it has more of a brown taste like browner darker looking to this the better burger For me, it has to be, the winner has to be the signature. I'm actually very impressed by this, which I didn't think I would be. The reason I wanted to do this video was because I realized, I, I, I imagined it would be just the same, but it's actually not. It's actually a lot better. So I think I would go for that burger next time I order all the time, which is interesting. But if I had to rate it out of 10, I'd probably rate that 8.5, which is quite high. And then the quarter pounder would probably give it like maybe 6.5, 7, maybe. Probably 6.5. But yeah, interesting. Let's get into the chicken nuggets. Sweet and sour sauce. Funny, they didn't actually have sweet and sour sauce in UAE, in UAE um, McDonald's until about a few months back. They brought it in. The only thing they need to bring in now is the sweet curry sauce. If you're from the UK and you know about that, that's the best sauce out there. But sweet and sour is pretty good as well. Not really like your chicken breast you get when you're cooking proper chicken. But still tastes pretty good. When I did my last competition, I filmed like post-workout, uh, post-show eating challenges. And someone commented on this saying, I didn't eat all the food because I didn't film it. And he wanted me to show me eating the food as well. And I actually like watching videos like that myself, so I, I kind of get his point. So I'm probably just going to time lapse rather than me talking. I want to watch football and enjoy the food. 
I'll time lapse the rest of this video and I'll come back to you at the end with my final review. This burger, the quarter pounder, tastes like you know when you're on a night out and you bring like a McDonald's back and then you leave it till the next day and then eat it then when it's all cold and doesn't taste as good, that's what that tastes like. The signature burger tastes like your mum probably made it. If you do want to follow my new bodybuilding prep as well, go back and watch. I've posted two videos previously to this. I'm 20 weeks out from my show at the moment. Well, no, 18 weeks out. Around 18 weeks, I think, actually. My bad. So cheat meals are still allowed. Until around the 14 week back. That's when I'll take them out, probably. But... I feel like most people are not really interested by fitness things, they prefer eating stuff, which is fair enough, whatever you like, each to their own I guess, but I'm still going to be pumping the videos out consistently, even if nobody watches them, so go and check them out. I don't really want to eat the, try the dessert or eat the dessert now. I'd rather have it later, but I'm kind of gonna have to for the video purposes. So I might just take a bite of each. But I feel like you can't really take a bite. You need to eat it all or nothing. Well, that's what I, the way I do things anyway. Nothing inside just yet. Let's break it up to see. Absolutely nothing inside there whatsoever. Kind of break my muffins whether there's something inside or not. If there's not, it's not as good. So, this is not that good. But it tastes okay, I guess. Tastes alright. Check. Cheesecake out. Blueberry cheesecake. You know what this tastes like? The cheap Tesco cheesecake you get from back home. But I mean, it's hard not to like cheesecake. All cheesecake is good, to be honest, but... Mm. I'd have to say, which one wins? Out of this or the muffin. I personally love cheesecake, but I'd have to give the muffin the win on this one because it just tastes a little bit better. And if I was to rate it, I'd give the cheesecake a six and the muffin would have 7.5. And I'm probably gonna have to finish it now because what's the point in leaving? Right. What's the point in leaving this? Might as well eat it all now. And then it's done.
Again, guys, sorry about the uh, editing here. Um, it's not synced with my voice. Overall, I prefer McDonald's, even though we're not comparing it to other things or anything, but overall score would have to be... My score is going to go up because that signature burger was actually impressive. So I'm going to give it McDonald's a 7. Cheap and cheerful. Does the job. But it's not something you'd really want or go for all the time. And with that said, guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you've liked it, smash the like button. Subscribe for more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Maybe I'll make another video like this one with another fast food chain or something. Quick tip, if you're eating something outrageous like I just said, Take something like this with your meal. Does it digestive enzyme support, yeah? It's got loads of good stuff in it. Basically just helps transfer the nutrients and break down the nutrients better. Um, yeah. See you in the next one.